<laughs> anyway, so you got first pick. Who are you going with? First pick of the of the litter here. Oh, There's, boy. This is actually a nice week for games to pick from, I is will say. Is it, though? That. Like, there's, there's a few good there's ones. There's some in here. Like, mm-hmm. I think, again, we talked about it. You have to go with the Cardinals on Thursday night. Okay. If Devontae Adams is not going to be playing, i got to go with the That's Arizona Cardinals. That's your first Cardinals. pick? Yeah. Great. I'm going to take it. I'll, t- I'll take you taking it. You'll uh, take me taking it? I'm going to take your former St. Louis but current Los Angeles Rams over the Houston Texans. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a sound pick. You've been getting the Rams the last few weeks, yeah, and they've right. been doing really well for oh, you, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the Rams this week, and I hope that they don't blow it. And you're going to hope that they don't blow it. I'm well, cheering for your boys, man. Well, I just saw Jameis Winston on uh, last night play football. Oh, yeah. Um, it wasn't great. It wasn't awful, but it certainly wasn't great. Um, I just saw Tom Brady against the Chicago Bears. That was oh. that was a great Yeah, like I said with Jim, he's pretty good at football. He's, he's pretty good. Tom, football, Thomas yeah. L. Brady, yeah, he's yeah. pretty good. And by the way, uh, did we mention this? Uh, it did come out that uh, the fan that gave the ball back is getting a Bitcoin. So a Bitcoin? Ca- a whole Bitcoin. One Bitcoin. Tom Brady negotiated with his partners at his cryptocurrency partners, and they're giving the fan ownership of a bitcoin what was was the video uh, so that's a video pretty of, nice trade-off in addition to all the autographed merch that he's going to be what getting was the video of the kid that tom brady gave the hat was oh, that just yeah. a random kid that he gave a hat no so that that kid actually beat Braden cancer and he, oh, and he was holding up a sign give that kid tom, a bitcoin i know right saying <laughs> tom brady helped me beat cancer and oh, uh, the, the best part about the hat if, if everybody pays attention to gear like i we're gear nuts. We love the hats, the More shirts, and everything. Um, the best part about that hat is it was the NFL's Crucial Catch initiative. Oh. So that uh, talking about cancer screenings and things of that nature. Yeah. So I'm not too sure if it was an autographed hit, a hat. Maybe Tom autographed it on the brim. But he went and put it on, on the kid's head, and it was the NFL Crucial Catch cancer awareness hat uh, for a kid who'd beaten brain cancer. So that, that was an awesome story. Tom badass. Brady, all class. And that's yeah, part of the reason why I'm very, very happy taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the New Orleans Saints this weekend. Okay, I like it. Good choice. The Bucks, I want to say, have been a part of every week that we've done. I think so. Select. I'm pretty sure. As they've um, learned. I'm going to look a little bit above that in terms of on the schedule itself, and I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills defeating the Miami Dolphins. That's um, a sound pick. Again, the Miami Dolphins, Jim said it, they just, they're... They're baffling at how poor they've been this season. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rod Peterson was in Florida. He saw them firsthand. Get shut out by the Buffalo. Yeah, he couldn't. He was surprised because he thought, too, we all thought the Dolphins are, no, not maybe the best team, but they're a solid team, and they just aren't. It's just the injuries, man, and Tua Uh, Tua Tungavailoa has just not turned out to be the quarterback that they uh, thought they were getting when they drafted him. The Bills at home, uh, it's got to be. I got to go with the Bills. Jordan, can you put the camera on me for half Uh-oh. a second here? I don't think it? we have the function of Are Zoom. Are you six arrows ranting right here? You're about to six this is arrow it. rant? We're going to go real local here. Mm-mm. Chad Isaac. Uh-oh. Listen up, my friend. Hey, shut up. This is about you. This is about you, Chad. Clark, I'm going to declare it right now. The Cincinnati Bengals are good. Oh, boy. They are good. Chad, can you believe it? And they have a bye week game where they're going to get a result of a victory over the New York Jets. I thought you were going to pick the Jets. So I was really for, hoping you were so, going to pick so the Jets. So with the third pick in the in this week's squad select, I'm going to take my automatic one victory, and it's <laughs> going to be Chad Isaac's Cincinnati Bengals <sighs> because they are now good. Yep. I, can, I can admit it. I said last week was the test game. They thoroughly stomped on the Ravens. Chad, Joe Burrow's a warrior. The Cincinnati Bengals are good. If they let me down, they now become my Washington football team. Mm. So... Extra pressure. If they lose the, to the Jets, if they you, lose to you the better Jets, have a they might not be good anymore. Forever. That would that'd be the quickest retraction of mm-hmm. team that's gone from very poor to very good yeah. back to back to being ah. So I don't know. I think it might be a stomping though. Uh, in the is it again? Doesn't matter if they're home or away. The Jets could be in it's the comfort in, of their own home. It's in New York. It's the Jets are home. It doesn't matter. Um, it, it could be in Zach Wilson's backyard. The Bengals. Are I'm gonna stomping. I'm gonna skip ahead a day and I'm gonna stay with a team based. You're gonna out hold of, this out to the Monday nighter. Based you out jerk. of New York, I'm gonna pick the other team though, the Kansas City Chiefs. As Jim said, they are a team that is poised to really break out in the second half, mm-hmm. and I think the Giants are a perfect leaping leaping off point for that. That's not the right word. Springboard. Springboard. Good one. Good one. Uh, the Giants are the perfect springboard for that. I think the Chiefs are going to come out, stomp them on prime time on Monday night, mm-hmm. and move on and keep it rolling the rest of the season. Well, I feel very happy about this, that you left them boys 
Yeah, it's fair. D- Dallas Here's Cowboys. Here's the thing, though. I saw the game, board. and I was like, you know what? The Cowboys are facing the Vikings. Every time I pick against the Vikings, they win. So that's, I, that's, I didn't want to touch that's it. That's your trap team? I didn't want to touch it. They're my trap team. I don't know. They're coming off a bye. They're rested. They're still a capable football team. Dalvin Cook's probably going to be as healthy as we've seen him all season with mm-hmm. the rest. Mm-hmm. So who knows? It, it could be one. But, man, Dak and the boys, they just, they just look good. Aren't the Cowboys coming off a bye as well? That sounds uh, about right. They're five they and one, so they didn't play last yeah, week. Yeah, that would so make sense. They're that five would make sense. So either way, two rested teams should be a high-scoring affair. Take the over. Um, yeah. Keep the change. Yeah. All that good stuff. Did I tell? I told you about my bet on the weekend. Hey, that was a fun little weekend. Tanner Ring and I had. Uh, did you win that big one that you made? Yeah, that's why. The I crazy, sent, crazy big one. That's why I sent it to you. Yeah, but you, I thought you were just. I sent it to you. I, I, I didn't even know it thought had. about the text. I didn't know I said, you cashed it out. I said, out. as Carrie would say, waiting all day for Sunday night. Yeah. And then I sent you the screenshot of Tanner and Mai's pull from the Sunday Nighter. Right. A very rainy affair in San Francisco. Tanner and I, uh, we're, let's just say we're up. We're up. You made a dollar or two uh, or more. Paid for, um, paid for coffees this okay, week. Okay, so let's I got to make one more pick here. I thought, for some reason, I thought the Chiefs was my last pick. No. Um, okay, I got one more. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one because the records show, like, Ugh. But I'm going to go with the Seahawks over the Jaguars. Ooh, I kind of love that you took that. Yeah. Geno Smith sucks. I'm doing it. He is horrible. Can't take I'm it back. It. No trade backsies. But uh, Geno Smith showed me last night that outside of the fifth offensive snap of the game where he went like 84 yards to DK Metcalf, he literally did nothing after It's in that. Seattle. Not even fa- Yeah, they were in Seattle last night too. Still sucked. I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Brady Witt, yeah. your your uh, producer Allen, your team better do. Uh, I have Alan a fu- is Seahawks I, fan. Yeah, Allen is a Seahawks fan. Allen, Brady. It Witt. depends though, because there's. I don't know. I saw I saw a graphic. Graphics are fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw a graphic today about the Seattle. Unless they're bad. The Seattle. Unless they're bad. No, this one was good though. Uh, it was a Seattle. It was the Seattle Seahawks inside the New York Football Jets logo. Yeah. And it said the uh, the Seahawks without Russell Wilson, <laughs> and then with. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Seattle Seahawks fans are allowed to be fans of the Seahawks when Russell Wilson is in uniform, and when not, then they can just pick every other team because they are a horrible football team I mean, without when, Russell Wilson. When They're I look at the terrible. rest of the games, there's only really one other one that I would feel comfortable really picking. I know we talked about how the Bears are a mess. And Eagles the over Lions, Forty Niners, Eagles over Lions. But I, I feel like the Lions are poised to break out at some point. Like Jim said, a lot of their losses haven't been big ones, and they have some some talent there, and they have a good mm-hmm. coach. Jared Goff is still tenth in the league in passing yards. It's because um, he has to throw the ball. I'm aware of how that works. I, I get how that works. Uh, Matt's de- but, okay. Watching that game on the weekend, though. As, and I don't want to disparage Jared Goff too, too much. I, I genuinely appreciate what he did for the Los Angeles Rams when he was there. Um, but that that pass, when they were in the red zone, they had a chance to at least come close to tying the football game, and he threw it right in the midst of Jalen Ramsey. That play was the exact reason that we traded Jared Goff. Right. And we are so happy to have Matt Stafford who is halfway to Thomas L. Brady's uh, 600 touchdown passes. He secured his 300th touchdown pass this past weekend. So not as big a milestone. Ball's probably not worth as much. But regardless, that is exactly the reason why the Rams traded Jared Goff. So I don't wish yeah. any ill will on him. And the only However, the only other game I'm looking at where I'm like, shoot, maybe I should have picked this one, is the Titans and the Colts. Um, <laughs> I should have maybe picked the Titans. Titans but are streaking. The way yeah. I've seen the Titans, you know, they've had a – couple of Colts are weird stingy. games and the Colts are good and like again Jim he got in my head because yeah. he said the Colts are due to have a big second half and yeah. then I got nervous so I'm going that's Seahawks fair. that's fair um, that's a tough game honestly that could that DK could be, Metcalf that is going to stomp game. all over the Jags Trevor Lawrence won't be able to handle the noise of the 12th man eh. okay pick the battle game I'm really happy that you're not going to be going 5-0 and this week. I'm really happy about that. Um, <laughs> you ba- said that last week uh, well, and the other I week. I didn't say that last you week. Did. Come on now. Um, this is actually hard. I don't really want to have the pick in this game because Sam Darnold has been absolute trash for the last two, three weeks. Again, love the guy. Probably a real nice guy. He's just not been a very good football player like he's paid to be. Uh-huh. So it's a fair comment. But Do you want me to crack this on the mic? Might as well. Okay, I'm I'm having Max's. We're way um, under tonight, by the way. Like, yeah, we're, we're doing under. good we're for time. That's shape. why I'm having a second one. So I'm gonna do a <laughs> soliloquy on Sam Darnold. No, but no, Max, I'm just kidding. Since since Max isn't drinking oh, yes. at the moment, I'm pr- participating twice. Good job. There we go. That's just good team player right there. Well, I'm just trying to help you out. You know. Yeah. Be safe. Anyways. I will. 
So I promise the Falcons and the Panthers. I don't know which way to go. Christian McCaffrey's not back. Nope. Falcons have won two in a row. They're rolling. Last time, <laughs> red hot. <laughs> Last time I checked, Matt Ryan is still capable. Unreal. But Kyle Pitts, legendary. I know he is unreal. Making. You're very lucky that you uh, Robin, have acquired the next. I was going to say Robin Wildy for some reason. Calvin Ridley, Calvin. <laughs> not Robin Wildy. However, I do enjoy Close Robin enough. Wildy's company. There Thank you, you Robin, for watching. <laughs> for this pick, though, oh man, I I like the ones that are like the premier headliners. It's pretty easy to make the pick. Yeah, this could be the difference of four and one or five and zero oh for me, though. It really could. Yeah, I've got to go. Robin Wildy says, by the way. One Bitcoin is seventy five grand. Exactly, so and it's and it's only it's going, a decent it's chunk going of cash. Up. It's a great chunk for that of cash. Person who had the football, absolutely, and it's only going up. Can I can I ask a question before you get it? What is Bitcoin? Because I just no, can't answer. I get I don't get it, but I'm not going to ask. I that. don't get it, but I do, but I want to get it. I don't get it, but I should. I feel like right. Um, what? Why did the football end up in a fan's hand? Did somebody throw it? Mike in the stands? Evans gave it to him. Mike that's, Evans. That's why. Mike. Mike Come on, just man. gave it away. Where's the boomer? Come gave on, it away man. like a Randy Toronto Moss? Maple Leafs lead in a playoff series. Just Come gave it away. On. You got to know that. Uh, You've well, got to know that. I know. That. That's exactly what everybody say. Uh. And especially because Tom hit him three times in the game, too. It's like, Mike, I just probably helped you cash like a $500,000 performance bonus, and you gave away my 600th touchdown pass ball. But the other thing, I, uh. I heard a really good point about this on another podcast. Trade him. Trade him right now. But Mike so, Evans. So that 600th touchdown is cool, but like Tom Brady's going to play till he's 58 years old, right? Yep. So what happens when he hits 700? Like, can Mike that Evans probably just, gives the ball to a fan. Mike, well, Mike <laughs> Evans might <laughs> be able to leave at that point, but unless he subscribes <laughs> to the TV 12. I don't think three more seasons. Yeah. yeah. 100, 100 more touchdowns? 100 could, more touchdowns. He could throw 33 30, a year. Right, he's still got half of this year where he's probably yeah. going to throw at least 20. He could get that in three Do you think seasons. he throw, He probably throws 20 more in the last 10 games for sure. What does he have right now? I don't know. It's a lot. Regardless, it's like the Ovechkin total. goal record. It, yeah. When it gets there, it gets there. Well, see, but, he's going to set the Gretzky goal record. Right. Uh, like, there won't, this won't be broken. Because it took a Tom Brady to get this 20 high. 20 plus years. It took a Tom Brady. Like, Matt this, Stafford's the only one with a realistic chance because he's the best. But I was going to say Matt Ryan. <laughs> yeah, okay. Matt Ryan's going to have to play for, like, 30 more years to get close Matt to Matt Stafford's going to have to play for, like, 17 um, more. But honestly, realistically, a lot. I mean, what was the record before Brady even and Breeze? I think it, Breeze and Manning both broke it as well, right? The previous record? We have the technology. We, we do look technically at it. have the technology. NFL. Because I'm pretty sure Touchdown. Breeze, Brady, and Manning all broke it, whatever it is or was, and they've all gotten to a point now where Brady's oh, just well this one going. didn't really mean so Tom Brady now is 602 okay he roasted Drew Brees like by 30 already by Drew Brees 30? had 571 so yeah like this, but Drew Brees retired Drew Brees retired but or is this his first year this is his played? first year oh, in the okay. booth but still like yeah and Peyton Manning at 539 so like oh Tom's shoot. almost beating him by a hundred well that's what happens when you just keep playing after Peyton Manning retires that <laughs> but what was it before but the that thing about Tom what Brace, was it before he's that better though? at 44 than he was wow. at 24 like it's insane. what was it before that 571 with Drew Brees no 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 no. before Peyton who's before Peyton who did oh. they break who did they break? Johnny Unitas or Brett something like that Favre. Brett Favre Brett Favre 508 it's quite a disparity hey you know who you know who's getting there but he's going to have to play a lot more years Aaron Rodgers still well active. of course yeah it makes a lot of sense so here's what I'm saying though so Tom Brady's at 602 and the previous record was Brett Favre 100 less than that essentially yeah that this Tom Brady is on the way to setting a Wayne Gretzky yeah in 892 and oh this, yeah un, un, like nobody's going to touch this no Unless you said like Aaron Rodgers, unless he plays Aaron Rod, like how old is Matt Aaron Stafford's twelfth on the list already? Is Rodgers like thirty? Playing for what Detroit. Is, oh, that is, hurts that Matt Stafford was in Detroit for what so long. What is Rodgers now? Like, is he thirty? What is he? Thirty. Rodgers is thirty-seven or thirty-eight. So he could realistically play for another four, five, six, seven years. I mean, oh, yeah. he's put in him, good shape. Put him in he's the cryo those, chamber. He doesn't yeah. run anyways. He's very stable. I don't think he subscribes to the TB12 method, though. I feel like yeah. he likes to have fun. Aaron yeah, does. he likes to host Jeopardy. He likes he's a bit to do of a looser guy. Yeah. He's, he's an owner, he's an owner of the Bears. Bears. He's got other responsibilities yeah, right. other than throwing touchdowns. <laughs> he, he's passes, legitimately so. the owner of the box, Milwaukee yeah. Bucks. He's part of that ownership group. Of course. And I mean, the Green Bay Packers or the Saskatchewan Rough Riders were the, the community, only community owned Realistically, team in the NFL. Realistically, he, he could play for Green Bay as long as he says, I'm coming back. Wow. Well, I don't think they'd this ever This last offseason no. kind of maybe. No, but if, close, if he close. says, hey, I'm coming back, 
they're going to bring him back. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But depends, I, how many, it's depends how many quarterbacks so Tom he keeps drafting in the 44. first round. Tom Brady's 44. 44, 45, or 46. So seven more years, let's say, Aaron Rodgers. If Could he you could imagine go seven if Tom more. Brady's playing football when he's 50? I Could you imagine that? I will, and I promise you that he probably will because he's a freaking – some. He's, a, he's an alien. He made a deal with the devil. He, he had to. Have I told you about the show that he's and in? And the devil is Bill Belichick. Um, uh, Isn't there a special coming out on this, Man in the Arena? Oh, maybe. It's a Tom Brady like. There's a Paul Rudd show where Tom Brady makes an appearance. Have I told you about this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I watched it. You've seen it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. I don't know if it ever got a second season, though. I feel like it's. Uh, it's my, some... Me and myself or something uh, like that. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd, Tom Brady. Again, we have the technology. Yeah, we do. We're making use of the technology tonight. We normally uh, don't. <laughs> Netflix scene, Living With Yourself. Living With Yourself. Okay, if you haven't seen Living With Yourself, for the few people who are still watching after we've gone on a tangent. Oh, there was a controversy of it, of course. There was? Why wouldn't there be? Of course. Uh, Living With Yourself, unbelievable show. Paul Rudd, Tom Brady makes a cameo in the first episode, and it'll change your perspective on why Tom Brady is still so good. Uh, anyways, we got to pick the game here, Max. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you right. we got to pick the battle game. game. I got off on a tangent. Got a little off the rails. I took there. you on a tangent. Um, we just went for ha- a ride. Just went for a ride, yeah. yeah. Um, much like this football game will probably be. You know what? Uh, I'll root with you for your Atlanta Falcons this weekend. You're going to pick do my it. team? Matty Ryan over Sam Darnold at this point. I really yeah. hope DJ Moore gets like 15 I was hoping you were going to spite me instead of cheering with me. No, no. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to I'm going to ride right. the grain. Well, I guess yeah. give me the Panthers then. Go with the grain. Give me the Panthers. Instead of against it this Go time. Sam Darnold, I guess. See, you didn't want them. I know you did. <sighs> well, my Falcons are red hot and they're going to be they're they're the team to watch in the second half <sighs> yeah, of the NFL. Yeah, until they lose this game 33 to 10. Yeah, well. Clip it that. could happen. Let's clip that because um, I bet you that's going to be the score. So there we go. I picked the Rams, Bills, Chiefs, Seahawks, and Panthers. Max went with Arizona, the Bucks, Bengals, Cowboys, and the Falcons in the battle game. So it's going to be an interesting weekend.